Space Traders Merchant Marines, released in 2008. This one is, uh, I guess you can call it a space trading simulator mixed with a uh, first person shooter. Now when I bought this I had no clue it had a uh, first person shooting element to it. I, I thought the screenshots were just in game still images. But no it was a 3D first person environment and you know what that was a pleasant surprise. So the game takes place in these trading hubs you're basically in a marketplace. You walk up to somebody in the market, look at the goods they're selling, you'll be shown a price and the resale profit you'll make, and then you buy the item. You then take the items you bought, then you fly to, say, the moon, depending on the level, then you sell that item for profit. You then buy goods on the moon and then head back to Earth and sell them there for a profit. And rinse and repeat, and although this is very simple, it's kind of addicting in a mobile game type way. It's repetitive but enjoyable, you know, trying to maximize those profits, it's kind of neat. A great thing this game does do though is most of the trading merchants in the hub are displayed on the side of the screen so you don't have to walk. You just click and you're teleported right to them. It's a really welcome design choice by the creator. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> the game is broken up into these chapters. Uh, each chapter has a set amount of time to accomplish your goals. Now every time you travel to a planet to trade, this takes points off your time. It's more like turns, but they call it time, but, but it's turns. Usually the goals are you have to make a certain amount of money, but along with that you'll be doing these uh, first person shooter missions. You'll fight in these arena style settings, first killing the boss character's minions, and then the boss appears and you try to kill them off. Now unfortunately this as a first person shooter isn't that good. There's very few weapons, uh, maybe three, and the enemies are insanely accurate when shooting at you. Now this does make it pretty difficult, except you're able to actually exploit some things in the arenas. You can get increased health and shields, which you can stack for a bit on top of each other. And these health and shield power-ups respawn in the same spot over time, over and over again. So you shoot a few enemies, you take some damage, and then you run back to the uh, energy respawn points. You recharge your hit points and shields, then you go shoot another enemy, then you run back to the spawn points and recharge, and you just do this over and over. You also get this insanely overpowered shotgun. At close range, it almost kills instantly. So by using this shield and shotgun technique, you're more than likely to never lose. But in conclusion, I thought this was a very bare bones first person shooter, and it's probably not going to appeal to hardcore players. Defeating this mission, you'll win some money and you can pick up some more trade commodities. And there is some first person bounty hunter missions at trade hubs if you want to earn some extra cash for trading. Story wise, there's really nothing too deep here. You kind of get bits of info about the lore and the universe and even though it has individually named characters, they just have these one liner voice acting and very little background stories so you're not going to find too much in that area to enjoy if you're into that aspect. Other play modes uh, besides the story is there's a few single level trials you can do. And this does have a multiplayer mode which uh, no one was playing so I really can't give you uh, any opinion on that one. Now my biggest problem with this game is its save system. Every time you change planets it saves the game. And as far as I can tell there is only one save slot, that's it. Now remember going to a planet costs you turn points. So with one save spot if you make a bad choice say 5 turns ago there is absolutely no way to correct it. Now look at these goals at the beginning of chapter 3. As you can see there are no money goals, you can see that, it's not there. So when playing this chapter I didn't focus on the trading too much, because I didn't think I had to. Now later on after many turns it suddenly tells me I need 20 million dollars and I was, I was like what? So suddenly I'm scrambling to get this 20 million dollars. But quite frankly I don't have enough turns left to actually pull it off. So I have to start this whole chapter over again. Now this is about 30 minutes of game time I have to redo. So let me understand this. You don't give me the option to save yet you drop a 20 million dollar surprise on me near the end of the mission. And that's my fault and you expect me to go back and replay the entire level over? Now if I could have went back maybe just a few turns, maybe five turns, you know about three playing minutes of time, I would have been able to do it. But the game just automatically saves every time you move. Now if I'm mistaken about this one slot auto save thing, please correct me, but you know what, I don't think I am. So overall, Space Trader did have some real potential. I found the universe and graphical representation of it interesting and the whole idea of trading and first person shooter mix was pretty neat. But as I said this game had potential. If the developer uh, kept going on this franchise, uh, maybe improving the trade and gunplay, uh, expanding the lore, I actually could have seen this turning into some sort of a cult classic. Uh, the idea here was really good. But this game as is, even with its good points, uh, it's got mediocre gunplay, undeveloped story, and that really annoying punishing auto saving thing. Ugh. I would say if you are interested and do want to try it, pick it up only really if it's on sale or maybe if it's in a bundle with other games. In conclusion though, um, I would say this game is more of a 
curiosity than anything else really. So there you have it, Space Traders Merchant Marines. Thanks for watching.